right, so we are here on 40th and 9th on our way to Siberia, which actually looks like just a red light. And there's no name, so it's, it's kind of DL, but it's actually a very, very cool place. And uh, Nothing Face should be here shortly. And uh, we should have a rocking good time. Nice little place. What's up, everybody? I'm sitting down here with Nothing Face, who are here to assist me in my viewer requests so you guys aren't so bored with just me. The kids have been asking a lot about you, and we got a, we got a request here for you. Uh, Jake from Normal and Noise is asking that, he's really hoping that I cover you guys because you guys are just badasses and you rule. And that's great, and that's why we're all here together, just hanging out all jolly-like. And uh, for you, dude, um, Nothing Face has a new record called Skeletons Out, which is Awesome, really heavy, really cool. I'll stop thinking. I'll stop. <laughs> and, uh, we got some great nice. live footage for you guys, so check this out. Alright, so now we got a couple of requests for some hate breed, and I know you guys were on the Tattoo the Earth tour with them. What's your opinion of them, and how did that tour go for you guys? Probably one of the best hardcore live bands you'll ever see. Can't help not wanting to just go smack somebody in the face. Richard from Payzac, New Jersey says, Hey Julie, I was wondering if you could play anything from hate breed. My friends and I had a really rough day. Some ghetto jumped us today, all because we were different, and we really need to get our frustration out. Again, thanks. What's your advice for, for, for people like him who get abused for being cool? I can't tell you. You have to ask one of these guys. <laughs> get up, dust yourself off, pick up your favorite metal record, and jump around your room, scream at the top of your lungs. Works for us. See, I so helps people. Here's some hay breed with perseverance and you and for you guys to get some frustrations out. Headbang, lots and lots and lots. Well, I heard a lot of um, cool heads that have been coming out to see you, Carrie King and Monkey. Did that make you guys nervous at all? Yeah, no, not the slightest. Yeah. You know, they're just other people that do what we do, you know, right. that have been doing it a little bit longer. So, um, I also heard Rob Flynn come out in his hometown when you guys were there. What's your relationship like with Machine Head? Um, I mean, we knew each other okay. I mean, we've done, we've done shows together you know, a few times, and, and they're really great guys. Well, we have a lot of Machine Head fans on the show. Ben L from San Jose, California says, hey, Julia, play some old Machine Head from the Burn My Eyes. What a great record. And the more things change era. Great stuff, heavy as hell. Old stuff, but it kicks ass. Well, most old stuff does kick ass more than new stuff, Seven. On that note, darling, here's Machine Head with the blood, sweat, the tears. Let's go! All right, mother we got a lot more requests coming up. I'm chilling here with Nothing Face at Siberia. And if you are wondering about all the noise all around us, there are actually people in this bar drinking their lives away. Um, sadly, but funly. So don't mind them. They're just being loud and obnoxious. Like I wish I was being right about now. All right, so now we have been having a lot of requests for Megadeth, and we have a lot of Megadeth fans at the show. What, what is your opinion on Megadeth, and has it influenced your music at all over the years? Mustaine is definitely one of the originators to bring out metal. Like, Peace Sells, he's buying records. It was like a Bible to me at one time. I like learned every song off that album, just trying to learn the different riffs, and it's a great, great record. There's definitely contributors to, to, to uh, the longevity of metal. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to have a lot of respect for that. Nick says that uh, Megadeth, Holy Wars, too bad these guys broke up. They were awesome, especially with standing guitar. Yes, it is quite sad that he uh, hurt his, his hand quite badly. God knows what he was doing with that hand. What did he do with his hand? Well, we don't know. I'm going to say it was due to extensive and excessive masturbatory um, action. Oh. But that's just my own I was thinking the same thing. I thought it was a masturbation accident. Like that, maybe another carpal tunnel in his wrist or something. Yeah. It's quite sad, yeah. but uh, <laughs> but he did he did release a statement saying that he has been talking to uh, the other members and that there is a chance of them getting back together uh, and that his hand might be better and he might be able to masturbate once again and play guitar all at the same time. Oh. I can't wait. 
All right. I'd be a thief. For all of you uh, requesting Megadeth, here you go. Oh, some classic so with In My Darkest Hour. Enjoy. You are really pissing me off because you're obviously not listening to what the I'm saying. Godless in Salt Lake City. What the hell is happening with the Fuse thing? Much music we say is changed Fuse. Is it name change or total programming change? Is it mean more? Everything is staying the same. All will be well. It's just the name called Fuse. It's like if you want to change your name because you're sick of it, you know? It's just no big deal. Much music equals Fuse. Same station, same programming. Much music to Fuse. That's it. So you guys are also in Oscars this summer. How did you get that slot? Um, basically because we're a great band. <laughs> no, you um, just paid a lot of money, didn't you? Don't lie. <laughs> well, just lie. like everybody else. Right, totally. Cradle of Filth is on the tour. What's, what, what is your opinion on those guys? And, and that I haven't heard enough of it. You know, I've seen that they look cool. But I haven't heard I think they're ugly as man. Yeah. Really? I think the I mean, right cool. stuff should stay in the books. You know? Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, but... You should say whatever you want, dude. Can't wait to see them during the day. <laughs> I don't think they come out during the day. All the makeup really. would just melt right yeah, the I mean, for, for you know, head on the second stage, it's still going to be daylight, right? I think it'll be dark. Yeah. That is a contradiction. Vampire dance playing during the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, Obi from P-Town says, play some Cradle of Filth. Those guys are so nasty. And we like nasty, but yes, we do. For all you Cradle of Filth fans, here's Babylon AD. Enjoy. I want to thank you guys for sitting through this with me because you guys look not too highly amused, but I tried to entertain you. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you are, and I'm sorry to mean to diss you, even though I wasn't oh, trying to. Oh, you didn't diss me. But, uh, <laughs> thanks for hanging. I get it all the time, it's all good. I like getting <laughs> And another topic that I'd love to discuss with you over, over a drink. No, you're that kind of girl, huh? Totally. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the show and enjoyed the videos. Rock on. Shut up, 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 shut up